Flying Light 2 features a functioning ecosystem that reacts on multiple levels to the things you do and the choices you make. In the example we're about to show you, our protagonist undertakes a mission for the Peacekeepers, one of the many factions active in the city. They want you to negotiate with two survivors who are controlling and hoarding a water supply. Are you going to insult us with another final offer? Let's say you choose to carry out the Peacekeepers' orders, one way or another. Stay back. After this, you'll start seeing a significant change. There's even running water for the people at street level. And that raises their morale and allows you to replenish your energy on the go. But there's a cost to this. The PKs have a rigid approach to law and order. So while the streets may be safer, it's only safe for those who side with them. So if you get on their bad side, now let's return to that moment of choice. And instead of killing them, you choose to team up with this group to supply water in the black market. As you will see, this creates a very different set of consequences for the city. With water being a precious currency, it brings you access to new resources and trade. But this in turn attracts the worst type of people to the area. And this is just a single decision, one out of hundreds you'll have to make. But it allows you to carve out your own world your own city from the apocalypse. Each player's game experience will be unique. And by the way, this is just what happens in the day. At night, well, things tend to get a lot darker. All my blessings go with you, my child. And so the day has finally come. My royal fledglings are leaving the nest. This disease kills thousands of innocents. Finding a cure is one of the reasons I came here. Man, the rope's too tight. I can't free myself. Uh, I owe you a big one, and I'll never forget this, I swear. We got the rope.
He's got one of us! Uh. Hey, just watch the big job. This been there. Hey, Carlal! Hey, you got a problem? This guy looks an awful lot like one of those scavengers we took out earlier. Tells me that wasn't no coincidence, huh? The fuck you stand here for? Puta madre! Crap the wheel, Jack! Oh fuck! It looks like the scavengers from earlier are still angry. They're pulling ahead, Haida! Watch it now! Got it! All right! I think we got rid of them. That was intense. Actions directly influence your open world experience. Let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, Jackie. So, they're done riding our asses? Scavs? Uh, sure, maybe. Should be looking for a new spot to slice and dice, not gunning after us. But, who knows? Real messed up pendejo, Scavs.
comes equipped with a sizable arsenal of powerful weapons. And making its triumphant return, a fan favorite, the Wing Stick, which has a few tricks in the game that will show off for you in a bit. With the authority mutants out of the way, let's talk with them. There's so much more to find and ride. Ranger Walker, there's a convoy near you headed to gun barrel carrying an explosive payload. Pleasure to see you scrap scar turrets.
Jen's gonna get out of here. She's gonna take a lot of damage. Nice. Scylla set the Swarm Tyrant on fire again. Every Javelin has a powerful ultimate ability that can turn the tide of battle in your favor. But this battle... shipyard you choose the black horn for the upcoming battle the strong winds will boost its speed giving its battering ram a devastating punch next choose the right crew and gear for the mission ahead demi cannons are slow loading but deadly at short range rockets are blazing fast and deal powerful damage from every angle with everything loaded let's head out the winds are strong and the day is clear. That means more merchants to rob, but also more rival pirates out looking for a quick score. According to your intel, the convoy is sailing past a Portuguese fort, taking advantage of the strong winds. There she is! Get burned. Don't look. Stay behind your sister, Hugo.
chiral allergy. So, you have dooms, like me. What's your level? I've got the extinction factor, but I think you got me beat. late. You're impatient. Come on, boys and girls. Let's do this. Okay, one nest done. How many more you got? What the hell are you doing? Get Up. 
Incoming! You gotta build up that raw power. Grab more. Grow more. Nama, nama, nama. Big. Bigger. Jackson! Then you need that fire power. Homing rocket gun. Bullseye. Vortex cannon. See ya. Graviton tether. Have you too, man? And the most powerful weapon of all, me. And then I roll out like a boss. I can push off fools, pull up the side of a building, or even bust out my very own tank. Oh, yeah. Boom, shakalaka! Man, these bad guys just won't quit. They got math, mad scientists, and mad a master plan. Here we go! Keep on coming! <laughs> Boom! Whack, whack, mother ducker! Crack down! Three! Eating your miraculous space chili. It's full. Well, I have no idea what you mean. Our food is healthy. Mm, invigorating. Captain to crew. Dead monkey in the crow's nest. I repeat, monkey down. El space chili strikes again. Copy that, Captain. Hey, Paige. Bet we could use your space chili to overclock our engines. Negativo, mi amor. Only you can melt my circuits. <laughs> uh, keep laughing, fools. The key ingredient to good cooking mm, is love. We are dead in the water. I repeat. Main engines are cursed. Nox, come.
come in. What have we got on the scanners? Jack shit. Nada. Hey, 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 wait. I see something. Three o'clock starboard. It, it's massive. Wait, get back here, Shani. Pull us! <laughs> They're armed. I need backup. It's a cop. mission on the map. Yeah. Wait for it. Got her. Matt, look out. All right, let me try to get that tank off you. More bad guys on the other side of the plane. Grenade, grenade. Duke, come on. Yep, yep, yep. Over 
here. Cover you guys. Come on, come on. Or together with up to three friends in seamless co op, you will explore a beautiful but dangerous open world where you constantly need to keep a lookout for enemies roaming while trying to find the equipment to survive and fight. The machines come in many types, sizes, and variations, constantly challenging you in new ways using different weapons and sensory equipment. Wear them down and disable their systems by pinpointing and taking out armor parts and components. Seize the upper hand by utilizing stealth, group tactics, or special equipment to distract or confuse the enemies. Use these in combination with objects in your surroundings to create traps and ambushes and turn a difficult fight into a winnable one. Should things go south, fleeing is a valid tactic. Since the machines are persistently simulated in the world, they will continue roaming if not killed. Whether you locate them minutes, hours, or days later, they will still bear the scars of your last encounter, waiting to finish the job. As you play Generation Zero, you will scour the open world for different weapons and upgrade your favorites with attachments like scopes and silencers. Take down powerful machines without damaging their parts, then scavenge those same components and use them to augment your weapons with high-tech enhancements. This will come in handy when fighting in different conditions. The dynamic day-night cycle and weather systems will not only impact your senses, but also the enemies, making for constantly evolving battles. You are free to explore the world at any pace and direction. And if you look closely, the world will tell the story of what has happened. The pieces of the puzzle are there for you to discover and figure out. Just remember that some answers come harder than others. <laughs> <laughs> 